Let's talk tummy tucks. This procedure is getting a ton of views. Here in this one, you're sharing what we call an umbilical float. Typically, we exteriorize the, the belly button, pull down the skin, and bring it back out. Here, you're keeping it attached, and you pull it down on the abdominal wall. Yeah, this is a great procedure. It's not for everybody. And as you guys well know, one of the drawbacks of this procedure is that the belly button can end up lower than you want. Right. So these need to be high riding belly buttons. So as you pointed out, Doc, it's nice for some patients to not have to have that external incision. And what I'm doing here is cutting through the umbilical stalk attachment. And so the belly button still gets its blood supply from the skin and then we float it down. In this patient, it was a little bit low for my taste, but she absolutely did not want an external incision yep. and it made sense. I'm so happy. I've been doing this show 14 years. We've never talked about a belly button float. I love it. Well, when, I, so when people ask about tummy tucks, to yep. me, all I'm worried about belly button scar, I mean, it's like a facelift. It's a telltale sign. Without being a pro, you look at the facelift, mm -hmm. and if there's a ton of scarring there, it means they didn't do a good lift. They just pulled you, yep. and they stretch you, and they stitch it together, you get a scar. Tummy tucks are like that. If you yep. start getting this weird belly button, or you get this scar that's expanding, it might mean that they're doing the rest of the procedure wrong, not just the closure. Yeah, so the scar, obviously, we all know tension is like the worst thing for a scar. So not taking too much skin is really important. Um, and then the other thing is it's important to obviously close some of those deeper tissue layers that really give support to the scar and the technique and how we close. So tension to me is everything. Low tension, don't take too much skin, and I think your scars can look really good. And keep good. it as low as possible. Absolutely. I mean, everybody's a little bit different, you know, sometimes. Yeah. And if you can't get everything out, you may end up with a vertical but you want it safe you want that that scar tension free pretty and <laughs> as, low. as low as possible all right dr brown great information really a pleasure thank you to have you here wait are we getting a tiktok uh, dance or a song or <laughs> i've seen a lot on well, here <laughs> we have him here <laughs> You hey, want to dance? I'll, I mean, well, you have different, what are you comfortable with? Lead us through something we I'll can dance, do for I'll dance, but if you want to do one that's kind of trending now, I mean, okay. oh, man, I mean. <laughs> it's very simple. There's a beat, it better be. There's a beat to the song where you stand with your hips like this. That I can do. And then when a certain beat hits, one hand up, one on the hip, <laughs> hip pop, hip pop, <laughs> and then right back to your pose. That's easy. Think we all can right. all do that it's together? Like the Macarena. All right. It's like the Macarena. All right. <laughs> so on three, right? Hands up, hands on hip, and a little. You got a pop, man. Little pop, little Back. little hip action. <laughs> I feel foolish, but you know I don't dance much on TikTok anymore. <laughs> okay, Docs, a lot of fun. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. <laughs>